Hey, what's up? Today we're gonna be taking this vintage outdated dresser that I picked up on Facebook Marketplace for $40 and we are going to be refurbishing it and painting it and giving it some new life. So here is what you're going to learn in this video. I'm gonna teach you exactly how to paint a piece of furniture. This can be a cabinet or a dresser. We're just doing this with a dresser and the paint is actually gonna be durable so it truly lasts for a very long time and doesn't just peel off when you use your thumbnail and you scrape. You know what I'm talking about? It's actually durable paint and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. I'm gonna show you how I took this $40 Facebook Marketplace dresser and turned it into something beautiful that I could sell between $350 and $450 on Facebook Marketplace. So let's do this. Here is the dresser before. I really like the clean lines that it had. It was in really good condition. Again, $40 on Facebook Marketplace for a solid wood dresser is a pretty dang good bargain. So here's what it looks like. Once I had that, of course, anytime you're going to refinish any furniture, you have to sand to make sure that the paint adheres correctly or even the stain. So I'm using my Ryobi sander with 120 grit sandpaper. I actually started with an 80 grit and it was pretty good. It got most of that off, but then I switched to a 120 to just not damage the wood just to be safe. Once it's all sanded, I used my favorite primer, which is the Bin 123. It's the Bullseye Zinser Primer. Really, really good stuff. Do two coats of primer on this because you want to make sure that it actually really sticks. Now, what I notice is when you're doing primer, in between coats, you really need to sand with about 220 grit, just a really light sand so that the paint lays smooth. This is where your finish really begins. So if you get this part right, your paint's going to be awesome. I also pay close attention to the sides, tops, and bottoms of the drawers because that's where the wear and tear really happens on a lot of furniture. So make sure you give that an extra special care. Don't just skimp over it. It really does make a huge, huge difference when it comes to the finish and the durability of your paint. Important to note, if you've never used primer before, this is a shellac based primer, which means it is super, super runny. You didn't do anything wrong. It's not old. It's not outdated. This is just the way it goes. I would also highly recommend not using your spray gun for a shellac based primer. This stuff dries really quickly and can really gunk up your gun pretty fast. So I am a bigger fan of just using the weenie roller. Make sure it's the foam one. So the foam one makes all the difference in the world. But do this and make sure you give it a really good two coats of primer to ensure that everything adheres properly. Once you get that, you are ready to move on to the next step. Next, we are using paint. I tried General Finish's milk paint. It dries more like an enamel paint than it is a normal milk paint. Typically, milk paint is very chippy. It doesn't seem to really apply predictably. <laughs> so I've heard. So this one, it was really good. It's a very similar version to Sherwin-Williams Pro Classic Paint, if you've ever used that. So it has almost a self-leveling thing. What you can see me doing is applying this with that same foam roller. I actually hated it. Use a brush. It goes so, so much better when it comes to this type of paint. The weenie roller was not working at all for this. I don't know if it was just my application or what was going on, but a general paintbrush worked out perfectly. I did try to spray this as well, and the spray was fine. My sprayer is not perfect for small quantities of paint, so I decided to just make my life a little bit easier and just use a brush. Now, remember, I said I was trying the top of the dresser in wood, so that's why I sanded it down to bare wood, and I was going to stain it, but ultimately, I hated the way this looked. I didn't like the two-tone. I wasn't a fan of this color. So I just decided to make my life easier and paint it the same exact color. Now, because I went down to bare wood, I did not do a primer, probably should have, but when you go down to bare wood, usually it absorbs pretty well, so you don't necessarily need a primer. So here I am using my Graco sprayer. This thing works like a champ, but again, not great for small quantities. So I don't know if I'd recommend this specific spray gun for painting furniture. You just need a ton more paint. And unfortunately, General Finishes Milk Paint is not the cheapest paint on the market. So that is something to keep in mind if you decide to go this route. As always with all paint, you're going to do at least two coats and make sure you sand with 220 grit sandpaper, just a really, really light dusting of sandpaper in between coats to make sure it really adheres properly. Now what I'm doing is I'm applying Minwax Polycrylic. This is in the satin finish. I really do like this one. It's not too much of a shine, but it does give you some texture. It's a milky acrylic. So when you're applying it, it seems like it's going to be really bad and not look so great. But what I find is it dries very smooth and it dries in a very crystal clear finish. So don't be concerned about that. 
One of my favorite tips is to add a little tiny bit of the same color into the polyacrylic just so that way of paint, of course, so that way it blends in really well and the application's pretty seamless. With this, make sure you just go very smooth. Try not to mess with it too much. Once that is dry, and again, you're gonna wanna do two to three coats of the polyacrylic as well, you're gonna finish off with your favorite hardware. This is my favorite. I'm really a big fan of the gold cone knobs. These are in 0.8 of a diameter, inch diameter. So they are pretty small and compact, but they look great. So I added in all of the knobs. It was a ton of hardware for this specific one. And I actually ran out of one knob when I got done. So I was one knob shy, but I just wanted to share this process with you and get this content out there. And ultimately I'm waiting on my last knob to come this weekend, but here's what the finished product looks like. It's a very smooth finish. It's very durable you would definitely be able to take a, a rag and wash this down but I'm curious what you think let me know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe and like this video I'm a brand new channel so your support means so much I will see you for the next DIY